if you're new here please remember to hit the subscribe button uh, i have one more promise that i want to keep i hope you guys are ready for nairobi series it's early morning everybody's rushing to work nairobi was a maasai land yeah, we're given a vehicle parking on the pedestrian crossing this is so nairobi and you see this guy even this guy is crossing but this guy is not respecting that he's crossing on the pedestrian crossing what is this good morning zebra crossing. this is zebra crossing yeah. and he was crossing reluctantly I love who I'm saying I'm going to be putting on me <laughs> Nairobi is survival even these ladies ladies and gentlemen you would think I'm standing in the uh, grass of the village or anything but this is still Nairobi this is one of the disadvantages you can see of now changing our environment because i imagine this um whole plot are disposing their garbage here entering uh mama's favorite place that was our country yeah this is the beauty of africa and what we can congratulations and all the best in your business thank you very much don't take pictures of my mangoes when they made the super highway Vehicles used to roll into people's houses. Hola ladies and gentlemen, good morning from Africa, Nairobi, Kenya. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the Kibera series. So as I said, uh, we had started the Nairobi series. We've done two constituencies. So Nairobi actually, <clears throat> as you had learned from yesterday's video that we did with Kur, who's uh, one of the young people that is entrusted with the Nubian community. I hope you really appreciated and uh, enjoyed that video uh, that I did with Kud, the Nubian, young Nubian leader. If you're new here, please remember to hit the subscribe button. If you are a continued supporter, we celebrate and appreciate you. So now, uh, I have one more promise that I want to keep to speak with either one or two of Kibera leaders either the member of county assembly or the member of parliament but we have to continue because a lot of these things take protocol so i hope you guys are ready for this uh, nairobi series so nairobi as had mentioned as had been mentioned uh with kur as well nairobi was a maasai land and nairobi uh is actually not the word itself i'm not really sure but we'll confirm but it's a, a maasai word well, Maasai is one of the original tribes of the Kenya. I think I could mention a little bit on the previous video. So if you haven't watched that previous video, please go and watch that previous video. Uh, and so the Maasai settled here because it was a wetland. As you know, Maasai are pastoralists and nomads. So they settled here to graze their cows because as it was uh, very good for them. It's early morning, everybody's rushing to work, but I hope you guys can hear you. So as we continue the constituents, the first constituents that we did and we really got into details was Kibra constituency, which is the constituents where I'm from. That's why we dif did different words. And so Nairobi will only be doing constituents and uh, maybe touching base on different things that are in different constituents. So Nairobi has 17 constituents. 17 constituents of which we have done to we did westlands which is uh, more of a business and a corporate center and we also have very rich and middle class people living so it's a gated community uh, we also did kibra which is you know a community for the vulnerable i mean uh, middle class a little bit and the poor what defines the poor i mean living under two one or two dollars a day uh you know even uh, you really struggling to satisfy your to meet your basic needs which is food clothing and shelter so today here where we are on this other side you can show them we have the meteorological department the meteorological department that does the weather forecast which helps uh, in uh, uh you know informing people about the weather for the day or for the week so here we have ngong road you can show them ngong road 
Zongong Road is actually the demarcation for our Kibra constituency and Dagoreti South that we are getting into today. So the next constituency is Dagoreti South. Dagoreti South is about, uh, covers an area of 25.3 or 50 kilometer squared, which is probably an equivalent of 9.8 to 10 uh, square miles if you're thinking in terms of miles. And uh, what I like about this constituency is uh, it's one of the boundaries uh, between Kibra constituency to Dagoreti. I mean, it cuts, it's next to Kibra constituency. That's why it really interests me. Uh, as Kud had mentioned initially, Dagoreti constituency, part of it was part of Kibra constituency before the 2013 uh, decision to make it an independent constituency. So Kibra used to be uh, the south and uh, Dagoreti south uh, used to be part of Kibra and then they created a demarcation that separated uh, the three of them so Langata, Kibra and Dagoreti south. As we get into this so Dagoreti south used to be uh, a land for the Kikuyu and uh, the Maasai as well. As you as I had mentioned initially in my statement, Maasai was at the ancient Kenyan tribes. And so here people used to be farmers and pastoralists. The Kikuyus are known for farming. I'll show you some of the areas, then you can really understand what I'm talking about. Uh, but Dagoreti South used to be known for farming as it uh, borders the Kikuyus, the Kikuyu tribe. Uh, which are also not a lot of them do not reside very far from Nairobi so as we go I am just crossing right now I am crossing from Kibra constituency to go into Dagoreti south and uh, we don't really have there's a zebra crossing that we're gonna be using on the other side to get to the other side but on the other side as these guys are crossing you can see that we have Dagoreti south so let's get into it you ready? Victors with Victors, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Victors with Victors. As I cross you to Dagoreti South from Kibra constituency. So we just left Kibra constituency and we crossed um, uh, to Dagoreti South. So as you guys can tell, I think one of our subscribers has requested if we could show the zebra crossing on the pedestrian crossing. This is a pedestrian crossing. But as you can tell, there's even a vehicle parking on the pedestrian crossing. This is so Nairobi. And you see this guy, even this guy is crossing, but this guy is not respecting that he's crossing on the pedestrian crossing. But Yako, look, what is this? Good morning. Zebra crossing. This is zebra crossing. Yeah. And he was crossing reluctantly. I love who I'm saying I'm going to be here on me. Why? <laughs> this is so Nairobi. Tell us your name. My name is Anton. Anton. Anton, nice to meet you. My name is Victor. I'm doing story. Uh -huh. And so I saw you crossing and we have been asked about zebra crossing. You see, even these guys are parking. What is your take? What is your take on this? This is, this is where I crossing. Comfortably. So Anthony agrees with me. People should be crossing here comfortably. Why do you think people don't respect the zebra crossing? Because of this. This is what is what is. Rich people. Rich people. They don't respect you. Uh, they, they, They're working class. They're working class. And so, what is your take on that? They should respect the <laughs> Nice to meet you, brother. Have a good day. Yeah, so you heard from Anthony himself. This is what happens in Nairobi. Nairobi is survival. Even these ladies, they have to run. You see? Yeah, at least that guy was diligent enough. But he's still, he's still packed on the zebra crossing. Anyway, we're getting into uh, the story of uh, Dagoreti South and one of the things about Dagoreti South, here you'll see a lot of lorries. I think you guys, you can show them. A lot of lorries and uh, these lorries are written clean water if you can see. Sometimes they supply me with water. They supply a lot of people with water. So in Dago, you can show them this trail of lorries all the way. So that, that shows you and teaches you about the resources in this county, Nairobi County. 
and uh, water is one of the problems not just with Kibera but Nairobi at large so initially there had been Mambo Mnen there had been uh, there are rumors that you know there are brokers and uh, middlemen who play with the Nairobi our water is supplied by Nairobi Water and Siwa Company but then if this is a trail of lorries then we're asking ourselves who's doing this water business who's into this water business and if we have water in Nairobi then why should there be lorries that are supplying water so this is one of the major problems that as Nairobians and as Nairobi we are facing and not Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya so can you imagine other counties that or cities that are in Nairobi that are not in the capital this is the center of business this is the center of uh, industries this is the center of a lot of things and we still have sufficient and not effective ways on how things work so give it thought and just process as we get into Dagoretti South. I hope you are enjoying and if you are a new subscriber please remember to subscribe. Of importance should be a comment on the comment section, recommendations on what you want to learn. I'm very excited and happy to be the vlogger that takes you through Nairobi in details. This is our third constituency. I hope you are ready for the 14th. Still in Dagoretti South and uh, one of the things that really stands out here in Dagoretti South, different constituents but in Dagoretti South we have this garage here, uh, now it looks empty but if we come here during the day, maybe during midday, there will be vehicles that are fully packed here. This is one of the places that young people come to do their hard labor, me mechanics. Uh, say panel beaters, uh, people that do wiring, vehicle sounds and stuff like that. You can tell from the look of it. So a lot of young people come here, learn how to do this job or some of them even go to technical schools and come here to do uh, uh, vehicle repair and everything. I have, my car has been worked on here and um, this is the place, it has no protocol, you'll come in, you'll find a mechanic or anyone and they will take care of your vehicle, they will assess it and take care of it, if you know the problem with it, I'm Taribu, <laughs> so, so, vibration, and then on the other side, we still have, it extends all the way, it moves all the way, and all the way, and here you see there are business buildings, a lot of young people are doing businesses here. So Dagoretti South is actually just developing, as you can tell. Uh, a lot of these buildings are new buildings that they are putting. That's Sabo, one of the most, looks very prestigious. But as you can see, this one they're just developing right now. Uh, this area is also a bit swampy. We used to have water, you couldn't walk. I don't know what they did with it. Uh, but you can tell that uh, this is an area that is just developing. So as I said, uh, this place used to be an area for the pastoralists and the Kikuyu. They were farming around this area. And it is evident in the small developments, new developments that you can see that uh, Dagoretti South is still uh, very fresh and young with these uh, prestigious modern buildings. I don't know what to think of that, I don't know your take on that, but uh, you can also see there are trees, there are still traces of trees around here, so as opposed to inside Kibera the slum that has an history for decades, 1950s till now. So. You can tell that there are still trees that uh, explains to you that this place used to be a farmland and a land for the pastoralists. So this is one of the police stations actually around Dagoretti South. So we are transitioning. You can tell the transition from a number of things. One, how calm and uh, no traffic. It's still 7 a.m. in the morning. So you see this side.
the Boasana. <laughs> That's somebody I know. So one interesting thing about uh, Dagoreti South is uh, a lot of young people move from Kibera and come besides. So you'll find uh, a lot because it's neighboring Kibera. Matatu is the means of transport a lot of people use in the morning, especially in uh, poor areas and uh, middle class areas. So you'll see a lot of matatus in the morning and in the evening. Actually, they work through the day, but also tuk tuk. Tuk tuk moves people where matatu cannot go. You can tell the transition from the number of trees that we are seeing. This is Riruta satellite. Riruta is one of the wards. Um, so here we have uh, about, uh, I'm not sure, but about five to six wards. Riruta, we have Kabiria, uh, we have uh, Udiru, we also have, I'll find out and I'll let you guys know just so I'm sure. Right now we are in Kabiria. Kabiria is a place I consider the heart of Dagoreti South. And uh, for me, I find it really interesting because I find it the heart of the Dagoreti South. And there are a lot of uh, the round of the Kabiria roundabout actually, and the Kabiria area. It hosts a lot of SMEs, SMEs, small business enterprises. And you can tell during the day, uh, from maybe around 11, now people have gone to the market. But from 11, you're gonna see a lot of people selling on these streets. Fruits, vegetables, uh, snacks, food, and a lot of things. And so we're gonna get into Kawangware, which is an interesting area also in Dagoreti South. It's not the art, but it's almost at the age of uh, Dagoreti South. But what's interesting about Kawangware is from Kawangware we can actually tell that this place was a farmland because a lot of food produce are taken to the Kawangware market and that's where a lot of these young entrepreneurs go to find what they're coming here to sell for the people around here. So it's interesting how Nairobi has been able to accommodate. This is the final destination. This is the Kabiria roundabout. So if you're going to come to Kabiria, if you're gonna come to Kabiria, this is gonna be your last stop for the buses and for the Matatus that are coming to Kabiria. Then you can go into the different uh, neighborhoods in Kabiria. I'm really enjoying this journey with you guys. And I hope you're really enjoying this series of the Nairobi constituents. This is the third constituent and I'm so excited to be able to bring you, oh that was close, to be able to bring you stories of Nairobi and Kenya, Africa, my country. I hope you're enjoying. Let's go to the market and see. See the grass and you can see the vegetation. I'm still in Dagoreti South, just so you know. And a quick reminder. Developments are starting to take over this place. But you can tell just from the vegetation that this area is a farmland. is an area for the pastoralists. And uh, so it explains what I began with. The statements that I talked about, the Kikuyu and the Maasai living in this area. Uh, and these people cohabited nicely because the Kikuyu would farm and sell to the Maasai. And the Maasai uh, would also share their meat, Nyama. And it's just around this constituency that we have uh, the, uh, the Kichinji, or how do we call it? Um, where they, they slaughter, the slaughter, the slaughterhouse is actually around uh, this uh, Dagoreti area, Dagoreti South area. So it explains to you why the Maasai is uh, one of the settlers that were around this area. Ladies and gentlemen, you would think I'm standing in the uh, grass of the village or anything, but this is still Nairobi. <laughs> Nairobi or Naboi. I don't know, I'm yet to find out the original where uh, when we do the Maasai story, I hope I'll be able to get deep into the details of the Maasai. So this is a grassland. This is Dagoreti South. As I had mentioned, 
and so you can tell there's so many trees around here but of interest is you see you can tell now they just they, this is clearly explained in the picture that you're watching right now this is the modern building that the modern structures that they are putting and this is what this used to be this is what this used to be and now it's becoming more of a modern place Dagorit is out the place of the Kikuyus and the Maasai is now becoming I imagine this is what the Maasai used for grazing I've been moving around I haven't been able to see any cattle around and so it brings us to the question who is giving these people this land <laughs> we probably get into the details of that if we get um, a chance to talk to the area leader probably towards the end of the series and uh, really get to the history or find somebody who has a rich history of Dagoretti South as a constituent. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm going to take you guys to the edge and then we'll get into where now we get into Kibera slums from Dagoretti South. Interesting thing about this constituency is Nairobi and how Nairobi is broadening and opening up and becoming more modern so a lot of people are coming and settling in nairobi i don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing um but i imagine in 10 years we'll be having skyscrapers here and we'll be having industries around here let's dive into the story i'll probably take you guys to <laughs> i'll probably take you guys to one of the markets and then we get to see the exit or the end of uh, Dagoretti South. I really enjoyed hanging out with you. And this is one of the disadvantages you can see of now changing our environment. Because I imagine this um, whole plot are disposing their garbage here. There are a lot of people who are disposing things everywhere. And I wonder what's, gonna, what's this going to be probably towards the end of the year or even in three years to come entering uh, mama's favorite place this is probably also gonna be one of your favorite places this is the market this is the market that serves Dagoretti South as a constituency and its surroundings actually not just Dagoretti South i would shown you guys Kabiria. Kabiria Kabiria people come to shop here a lot of businesses come to shop here they have vegetables you'll see kales you'll see mangoes you will see carrots and so I, I, I don't know but I think I entered this market and uh, you can tell that even the smile on my face has changed I don't know what I want to buy I probably don't want to buy anything but one thing that I will get for sure for sure is mangoes mangoes for breakfast I hope you guys are enjoying there's also Chinese stuff here on the side and it's just plenty of business there is plentiness of life here. I mean, with uh, veget uh, vegetables and food stuff, there is life. You can tell from how I'm smiling. And so it's really exciting to see these women. Like it's really exciting that you enter here, and what first thing that welcomes you are vegetables, which are my healthiest and my best okay, part of. Yeah, we also have corn. Corn, corn is used. Uh, for the ugali flour that I had shown you guys, show them corn, show them corn. Uh, we also have uh, coriander and yaki. You know that is in and bao. It's plenty, it's a very rich market. So I'm just gonna get this. <laughs> I don't know where I'm taking it. But uh, oh, this is gems. So well know the easy specific. Uh, for how long have we been selling it? Oh, so he's been selling this. Thank you very much, Jemo. I'm just buying stuff. I don't know why I'm buying stuff. It's really beautiful that I can walk around and get anything that I want. Sasa, unawazaje melon? Melon unawazaje? Gigeta, gigeta. Mbamba, uko? Oh, ndoi? Uko, uko. Oh. Sawa, sawa, yeah, this is the beauty of African. What we can walk into the market and just get stuff for you know. There's also mangoes here, but I want the bigger mangoes as well. So this this market serves a lot of people. So now we are around the clothing area, and this is the area that they're selling clothing. 
it's a really it's a really <laughs> for me getting into a market is a really exciting thing and you see how many people are being served actually in this uh, market uh, it's helping a lot of people who are able to put food on table through what they do here so I'm looking for more. yeah I'm actually looking for really fresh foods to get these are spices Walking and I'm seeing mangoes, probably some was a coffee tea. Yeah, avocados, fresh mangoes, and everything that they're selling around here. I think it's just exciting. There's a particular type of mango that I'm looking for for breakfast. I really can't find it and I don't see it around here. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. I'm gonna buy this. So this is Irene, she's a uh, an SME selling this. Seven years she's been selling this. You have kids? Ah, okay. How many? Three kids. Ah, okay. Congratulations and all the best in your business. Thank you very much. So you see how exciting it is. Uh, that woman is saying we should pay the other lady. The other lady has no problem. Some people have naturally they naturally have a bad they have an ugly heart you know ugly people ugly hearts yeah the type of mango that i'm looking for i really can't see but you see how huge this uh market is and they're sending so many i wish benji you should show them more of the veget yeah, vegetables and the fruits actually Ah, yeah, there is a fruit. Honestly, this I didn't know about. I'm just learning about it today. It's got close to the shoot house. So we actually got deep inside it. Now I have to find the mango. Yes, So I finally found the mango started. Squeaker. So we were able to find the mangoes, but uh, there was a push and pull of the mango seller. Like, hey, don't take pictures of my mangoes. Don't take pictures of my mangoes. And uh, I don't know, I'm looking for those mangoes. We eventually have to find them. I really can't see them around. But you see this whole street is of fruits all the way through. I hope you enjoyed the tour with me in the market. And so as we're gonna show you the end of Kibera, of uh, Dagoretti South, we really hope that you're processing to understand what Nairobi and its surrounding is like and uh, what Nairobi offers. So this uh, market actually explains to you that this was a farmland because there are fresh produce that are brought into this market. This is the Nairobi War Cemetery entrance, but then the one we just passed, but this is still the Goretti Ward. So this is where it borders Gabriel. Kibra constituency and so what I'm going to show you is the boundary between Langata, Kibra and uh, um, what is the name? Uh, Dagoretti South that we were focusing on today. So on the other side there is Dagoretti South and this other side there is Kibra. You see a lot of people doing businesses, Kenyan busy, Kenyans are busy. It's still 8 a.m. in the morning And if you want food, this is a long walk. If you want furniture, good furniture, uh, this is where you come. If you want uh, this luxurious stuff, um, this is where you come for such. The beauty of Nairobi.
that probably no one showed you the beauty in Nairobi that no one showed you Behind us is uh, part of the uh, Gong Forest uh, Sanctuary. Uh, behind what I'm showing you guys, uh, there's a museum there, the cemetery that I showed you guys. But look at what Kenyan people are able to make. This is all on the streets. So here there's a golf course. This is. A lot of people play golf here, a lot of rich people play golf here and also there is horse, horse racing there as well. On the other side, which is Dagoretti South, there are more businesses, furniture, uh, mechanic, stuff like that. So if you look on the other side, you see the forest, you see those horses, you see the forest, and still, it takes us back to the statement that I initially told you that this place used to be a forest connected to Jibira. As Kuru um, was telling us yesterday, this used to still be part of Kibera. Kibra. Tarangombe. To be particular. And all this used to be a land for the great grandparents of before everybody came and inhabited here. It's really interesting that it's a land for the Kikuyus and the Masais, uh, but then now you don't even hear about their story. This is, this is, these are some of the traumatic thoughts that if you have, you can't imagine that the Masais and the Kikuyus were moved from here. Businesses and other people are inhabiting these places and I mean, there are a lot of Kikuyus doing businesses, but I wonder where are the Maasai? Hey, it's cheesy, yeah, man. Hey, I wonder where the Maasai are. Hey. <laughs> that was a crazy experience in Nairobi. That guy deliberately left the road to come on the side drive. Because I think because I was holding this camera, you know, and it's crazy to think of. So this is the junction. The other, the other way goes to Karen, and this way it goes to the southern bypass that takes us to Kibera. This guy looking fly. When you say hello, hello guys. <laughs> Stay tuned always at Pixel. <laughs> yeah. So this guy has been driving me around. He's also been behind the camera, and uh, you see. The vegetation. Let me turn the camera. Sorry. Yeah, this is Nairobi. You might be thinking we are somewhere in the village, but this is Nairobi. This is uh, the super highway that connects all the way to Mombasa Road into the airport, the Nairobi International Airport. But so this is a race course, and uh, this other side is Karen. Karen is one of the richest neighborhoods. We'll probably get into the current leaks and story when we are doing the Langata constituency. So the other side is the Langata constituency. And this road here, the super highway, actually connects a long super highway. It connects through you and then through to uh, the Nairobi, the, the road that leads to Kisumu town. Look, look at the vegetation. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Look at how beautiful Nairobi is. The beauty of Nairobi. Yeah, this super highway was really, was made uh, during uh, our third president's regime. Uh, the late Mwai Kibaki. May his soul rest in peace. So this is one of the things that he left us with. So beautiful and so calming to just be riding around. One thing about doing this story is it gives me also insights of things that I was never paying attention to while driving around. Around, 
uh, but now I really get to see the beauty of Nairobi and really experience it from looking at it and from sharing these stories with you guys. So I hope you're really enjoying Nairobi. Uh, we are, I'm gonna show you the boundary between uh, Langata constituency, Kibra constituency. I showed you already uh, the boundary between Kibra constituency and uh, Dagoretti South. Bay Bridge. Uh, so here they look at the weight of uh, these lorries. And if it's exceeding what it's supposed to be, I don't know the details about that, then the roll won't pass. But I still, uh, uh, you'll never find a lorry that has been stopped there and not, not passed. So eventually, somebody will be paid and the lorry will go. So now we are headed towards yeah, it's interesting, you can see people are starting to level this area. This area is pure bushy on this other side. Uh, this is part of uh, Gong Forest that connects to Kibera. Uh, this is uh, Kibra constituency, still part of Kibra constituency. And on this other side, this is Langata constituency that will do after doing the correction on. Yeah, we'll do it when we do. Uh, but you see how people are starting to develop. So in 10 years, hey, if you want to grab land, this is your time to come and grab land. I mean, not grab, grab, but buy. I don't know who sells it. I don't know if it's the government or who sells it. Uh, but this is your opportunity. You see on this other side, Masai word as well. Uh, we we'll get to find out the details eventually before we are done with the stories of the road. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we did it. We did it from Dagoret to South. And I don't know what you see. You can see the CBD, Nairobi City in front of us. But that's not even it. What I want you to see, ladies and gentlemen, so like I said, we left Nagoreti South. We are right now entering Kibra constituency. And on this other side, we have Langata constituency. And if you know, you know. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you see, my people. <laughs> we did it. Jagoreti South into Kibra. Ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Home sweet home. See? Yes. I'm going to tell you guys a story. Kibra, Kibra, that was it. So why they put these demarcations on this boundary? When they made the super highway, vehicles used to roll into people's houses in Kibera. So this was an upgrade of Kibera. Somebody had asked, that's another constituency. This was the housing, the upgrading programs that were done. Part of Langata, you see, there is ghetto. So these were the upgrading programs that were done initially. And then we ended up with uh, uh, people going back to the neighborhood. Yeah, so that's Kibra, ladies and gentlemen. Home of the Legion! <laughs> and that was it for today. I appreciate and celebrate you guys for your continued support. Until I see you in the next episode, I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, please remember to hit the subscribe button. If you're a continued supporter, we celebrate and appreciate you. Adios!